Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is an update video on my 1995, the white full runner 3.4 swap. On the last video, I mentioned that we got it fixed and running, starting, it didn't have the starting issue again. But the next few days, I found out it was still having the same issue. So the issue was that during the cold start, crank, uh, when you turn on the engine, it just crank, 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 like it was, wasn't getting the fuel. We thought it was the COR, we thought it was the circuit open relay. It wasn't the circuit open relay. Come to find out, I found out that it's probably the engine coolant temperature. So there's a sensor called the ECT, engine coolant temperature, that tells the ECU, that tells the brain when it's cold, hot, how much fuel to send, etc., etc. So what I found out was when I was having that crank issue, if I was to unplug it and start the car, it'll start, but it'll be like on a very boggy hesitation. And then while it started and it's bogging out, I run back to the engine, I plug in the ECT, and I go, and then it start breathing again. So that's that's my solution so far. I did went ahead and changed out the ECT sensor with a new one, the one that I got from Red Yoda, Red Yoda's original 3.0 engine that was good, but had a blown head gasket, they used the same ECT sensor. So even after I swapped out with the new, new sensor, uh, it was still having that issue in the morning. But like I said, if I was to unplug it, it'll start, it'll bog, and as soon as I plug it in, it start breathing properly. I know it still has an issue because um, it still idles around 1100 after even when it's warming up after it's warming up and it's been getting um, it's been getting pretty crappy miles per gallon the ECT is probably telling the vehicle um, it's probably telling the ECU the computer that hey it's not it's, it's either giving it too much fuel or it's not giving it enough fuel when it's cold so I do have a new ECT on order on Amazon and I also went ahead and ordered a new ECT harness and hopefully that will fix it. But so far I've been able to drive it after that startup, that first initial startup. Um, once you turn it off, you can still start it again. It's just when it fully cools down for like two, three hours, you got to do that again. So that's an update for the 4Runner. It hasn't been fully fixed yet, but we're still drivable. I drove out, I drove about 100 plus miles today running errands and runs great so let me show you what i've done so far to the full runner i believe on our last video we had the 33s i went ahead and got rid of those 33s just because they were so hard and cracked and i picked up some new 235 stock wheels on on steels these tires aren't the best it's kind of weather cracking as well but it runs smoother and just a little bit better and you can tell right here the the forerunner the forerunner is lifted it doesn't have any lift kit in the front, but I think they did a torsion bar lift. So they cranked the torsion bar. <coughs> and then on the rear, I believe they changed the coils, coils to something newer. But this full runner, you can fit 33s if you wanted to. And then also you guys can see right here, <coughs> um, that one day when I swapped the headlight bulbs out, uh, my headlight had about half inch of water inside. And I didn't even notice that. So the next morning the headlight blew up because it was so hot and cold. So I went ahead and ordered this um, headlight housing off of eBay. I think I paid like 50 bucks ship. Super amazing deal. It's in great shape. It's Toyota. <coughs> so I just installed that and it came with the headlight or uh, came with the headlight bowl already. Now all my headlight works. And then the grill I got from the junkyard. You guys remember that I saw install that. <coughs> and then the guy that I bought this forerunner from, his buddy has a forerunner and he kept the ARB bumper. So I was able to get in touch with him and I bought his stock bumper. So this is his stock bumper. So now the front end is done. Um, the only thing I'm still waiting for is that um, the signal right here, the turn signal, <coughs> um, it didn't come with the bulb, the socket bulb. So I got one on order, but that one did have one. So I have all my lights working except for my left turn. So the front bumper looks nice. It doesn't have that nasty facelift no more. Now it's just a stock 4Runner with a 3-4 engine. Pretty simple. And like I said, I haven't done nothing much to it. I did put the seats down and laid a tarp because I've been hauling stuff, parts and stuff like that. So fun stuff. I'm using it as a truck for now. And I'll show you guys that ECT sensor in a bit. Oh, and I also went ahead and the shifter, <coughs> the shifter bushing, there's the socket and the bushing. 
um, it was super sloppy and I just replaced that with the new ones and now this thing feels so much better the shifting is all nice and firm and it's not a sloppy joystick uh, the check engine light is on for a vehicle speed sensor because this truck was originally a cable driven so the speedometer the cable the speedometer had a cable that go into the t case and when they did it uh, when they did a five speed swap <coughs> the t case that's in it now is an electric electric reading so uh your speedometer doesn't work so that's just a check engine like for that but no big deal it doesn't have it doesn't affect the vehicle in any ways you just don't have speedo so here's what i've done so far i put a new positive wire <coughs> you guys remember the um previous setup they had a big old green wire so now this is a nice hot wire that goes from the battery straight to the starter and then we have a battery we have another hot wire that goes from the 80 amp straight to the starter much more cleaner um i was able to get another maf from my toyota gearhead and this is the other one and even i swapped the amf and it's still having the problem so we know for sure it's not the amf so i went with this setup and then this original cone setup this is still the toy only swap intake but then the original MAF and the original AM air filter, I'm going to keep that for spare. So that's pretty much it. And the ECT that I'm talking about is right here. So this wire here is the ECT that it goes into it, it goes, plugs into a sensor. And whenever I have that crank issue in the morning, I have to unplug it, start it up. It'll ball, it'll just, it'll start and then it'll just be like, burr, 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 burr. And then as soon as I run back and plug it in, it starts to run normally. But again, even when it's fully warm up, it still idles around 1100, which is not normal. So that's killing the gas mileage for sure. So that's it right there, guys. Quick update on the full runner. Haven't done too much, but so far it runs great. We just have to fix that little co-start issue. It's just a really weird, weird issue. So it's definitely electrical. We definitely narrow it down to electrical and we narrow it down to um, air uh, fuel. I, I haven't checked the spark plug yet, but spark plug shouldn't have done that because this is what's messing with the fuel. So I think it's fuel related for sure. So I did buy a new uh, fuel filter, but haven't swapped it out yet. It's just so messy and it's in a tight spot and I didn't really feel like crawling down there, but I highly doubt it's a fuel filter. I mean, there's a good chance that it could be. So maybe this weekend I'll crawl under there and swap it out since I did bought it already. But that's the update right there. So that's today's update on the white 4Runner. She's back together. She drives amazing, runs good, just has one little issue. And again, we'll try to figure out the issue eventually. But I want to get that fixed before I send this to somebody else or give this to somebody else. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll keep you guys posted on our next few videos. <coughs> um, still waiting for a lot of parts for the red Toyota. But the white 4Runner, she's cosmetically, cosmetically good. And she's running good. Just one little nosy problem. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.